The Terrifics number two, Jeff Lemire, Ivan Rees. Get some news about this book that I do want to speak about. I forgot to mention, we, we didn't talk about it at the start. but Oh, sure, yeah, I forgot about that too, yeah, you're right. We, we are it. getting another artist change. Doc Shainer is only on it for three issues. Yeah, t- yeah, he's on, he's on fourth through six. Then we get another one. Uh, Englesham, Which, I want to say, is coming on. Yeah, that seven. sounds right. Uh, this is incredibly disappointing to me because I don't know. I feel like the consistency is lacking. It's, it's not that any of the artists are bad. It's just oh, I was really hoping, okay. This is Shana's book. This is where I'm getting that fix, and I was, yeah, yeah, I was looking forward but... to that. But if it's handled and they're just three issue arcs, then that's cool. No, I don't, no, I don't it's like. true. I, I, I think it especially feels notable in this line, you know, the the new age of heroes, where mm, yeah. they made this whole big deal about how no, these are the artist books. The artists are credited on the front cover above the writers. They're yeah. they're credited as storytellers together, and they're credited first there as well. And it really feels like well, it's not really if you just shift them every arc. It doesn't yeah. really. Matter. I don't know. It's weird. New Age of Heroes is is kind of a mess. You know, but uh, yeah. I'll take it. I'll take a fun mess. But uh, no, I don't know about anyone else. I love issue two as much as I love issue one. Yes, I, I have no. zero have cool down stuff. on this. I get two books with Legion stuff. This is awesome. Because we, this is like it's basically because we know this is a three issue arc, but then this issue picks up with them still in the the giant. They they get a little bit of backstory for for Phantom Girl, which by the way. Am I the one who laughed a little bit when she said at the end of the... the, the there's a two-page like flashback layout spread. And at the end of it, she's like, yeah, the, the, the escape pod was only big enough for me, so they sent me off. But my dad miscalculated, and instead, I get pulled into this dark multiverse, and my parents no, survived instead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Darkly funny. So I'm going to point out some Guardi- or Guardian stuff, some Legion stuff here. Go on. Because they're on their way to Bismol, which that's where Matter Eater Lad's from. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, but and they're going to the Magna Ball Championships. That's what Cosmic Boy. That's where he came from. He was like a, a world class athlete in Magna Ball. So there's just the fact that Lemire and Reese are, are playing around with that stuff. Like it, it's closer. Like you yeah, know, look at you being excited. Yeah. Well, and also with the way Timey Wimey works, like this is definitely Phantom Girl. So. How, did it send her back in time? No, like, it's a different one. If, if, uh, I, I remember this happening, uh, seeing this uh, when the first issue came out. Uh, this I, I can't remember the her name now, like okay. Rachel, uh, but it's a it's a different Phantom Girl. Gotcha. Okay. I mean that's fine. Yeah. Still Bismol and in the Magna Championship. You know whatever. It's fine. Yeah, no, no, I'd fun with that. Uh, obviously, they put this big rod that's connected to the device that gives them the Tom Strong message, and it wakes up the giant, and yeah. they're, they're freaking out. So they, they race back to the portal. And... I, I love when uh, when Plasma he stretches all the way out to look up. He goes, um, "Hey guys." <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just yeah. super fun. They get, they get through the portal. We get the, the fingertips cut off through the because there's the big giant hands coming through and they close the portal and it just cuts them. And yeah. I like that. I really like the moment after the flashback where uh, like Metamorpho goes to hug Phantom Girl and he's, he like, oh, he's like, oh, there, there. He's like, oh shit, oh sorry. Yeah. Um, and it's just just a fun piece, even because we didn't get as much of her playing in with the rest of them last issue. It was mostly the other three. So even here, uh-huh. like you know, Plastic Man's like, oh, I'm going to throw up when he sees like you know Rex with the with the girl, and <laughs> she's like, no, I think they're sweet together. It's like okay, so we're getting how they're going to play off each other. This is nice. Uh, and the Plastic Man's like, oh, I didn't go back to an egg. This is good. On me. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Uh, good news. But I actually really like that. Like, okay, I'm going to help you. I'll think, I'll figure out how to like turn you back to corporeal. Because when she gets back, she can be corporeal again, but she instantly starts exploding everything she touches. So she has to go back to being mm-hmm. phantom. And she was like, okay, I'll, I'll help you. I promise. But it's not as important right now as figuring out what that message meant and making sure that portal doesn't get opened again. So he he goes on his T ship and he's flying off. And then of course yep. we get the big reveal at the end is that whatever's happened to them in that dark multiverse world. They are now bound together because his ship slings slots back round through the building. It gets out and they're all like, Wait, whatever's happened, we're all connected. We can't separate. So this is like they're forced to be a team for a while. And I assume that what will happen is that when they eventually like break this and they, they fix it, they'll just want to be together as a team. Yeah. yeah. They'll move forward like that. But yeah. uh, but anyway, I, I just love that Rex as he leaves like, damn, that guy's a, a dick. dick. Yeah, he's just, he's just yeah. what a dick. <laughs> yeah. Perfectly timed. Yeah. yeah. Perfectly timed. I also got- love that Morpho and Plastic Man. It's already shades of, 
of that thing and flaming guy. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and we we got another actual like Fantastic Four reference in this one. Uh-huh. You know, obviously. So we've had you know the team as a whole, the the not Galactus, but when they're escaping from that plastic man turns into a, a surfboard basically for yeah. Mr. Terrific. Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought that was you know, very much the image of that and the way the the way he kind of streaked round behind it as well. Yeah. Really looked Silver Surfer esque. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. So that's if, just if all the blast. bad guy, if, if the main villain shows up and his name rhymes with Dan Slot, we'll know what Lemire is up to. <laughs> no, no I, I, I'm think, I'm thinking like uh, I don't know, Corporal Bad News or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I almost feel like that role's going to be Stag. Ah, uh, I can see it. No, okay, yeah. yes. Could have kind of set yeah. him up. No, that's, that's true. Uh, so, no. I think that's just pure, like, over-the-top Silver Age wackiness, and I'm digging it so yeah, far. It's, it's why I'm so excited for, for Doc Shaner on this, because his style suits that. Oh, it does, yeah. So perfectly. Perfectly. Yeah. And uh, as much as it's changing again, I will say that the page that they put out with this news, that the, this new artist, it did look good. So, it looks good, which is yeah. why like, I'm not uh, criticising the, the, any of the artists individually. Like, they're all strong artists. It just feels kind of strange. And hey, maybe maybe it'll be like a rotating between arts. Thing. Maybe Doc will be back for the arc after. Yeah, maybe. maybe I will that. say the the art I enjoyed the most in this was the the flashback with the you know the, the faded colors and stuff. That was nice. That was looked nice. really nice. Uh, I think my favorite's probably the two page spread of uh, like seeing the giants waking up and Plastic Man's heads like you know yeah, stuck that's out. Yeah, so pretty great. Yeah, yeah. all that good stuff. It's coming out through the through the ribs. Well, also in the Kirby dots again the energy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's that's so good. So that's and then right. the last. I really love that last page. I'm all standing there because it's very that other team. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah. Terrific is still a complete blast. Uh, highly recommend. If you're not picking it up, make sure you do give it a chance. Because uh, I don't want this to be cancelled. All the other New Age books, even the ones I'm liking, like I, I see them all kind of ending after 12 issues. <laughs> I hope yeah. this one doesn't. I want this one to last. So, everyone support it. Go, go buy Terrific's.